Hey and welcome back. This video is going to be um, a series of uh, post production for rendering. This rendering we did for a competition. So here's the file in Photoshop, and this is after all the layers, and we'll go through all of them and show you how we did it. So the original rendering uh, is from Vir for SketchUp, and you can see without the mask, you can see uh, this is the layer, and this is the material ID. So basically, what we did using the material ID, we masked out all the water, and we eventually we, we bring it back to get some shadows. So for the background, let's go uh, one by one. So this is the photo we use for. Uh, the background it's very similar and what we did we put it on the back and we also used it on the top we'll see it later next we have a hue saturation adjustment layer just to for the sky after that we have a small cloud uh, just uh, you can find them PNG clouds and this image and we have another one behind the building to make uh, the building pop out a little bit better and then we have some shadows so basically the shadows is the water cut out and with a mask um, you can see this is uh, the water that we have from the original rendering it's for getting the shadows uh, back it's on multiply blend mode and it's on uh, 70 80 percent uh, then we have some words you can also find them online uh, bird PNG and then we have another uh, image on uh, color uh, color burn um, it's a sky image just to bring back some colors that's the set for the background that we have on top of the um, our rendering we have a few adjustment layer that's a hue saturation to bring the saturation down and then we have for the pool we have like infinity pool there so we have a hue saturation there and then we have uh, basically the same image that we had for the background just masked out um, in a way that it looks a part of the building cliff now uh, the edge of the cliff is a little bit rough so what we did we took a bunch of uh, images uh, PNG of stones and we add some uh, of those on the edge so it looks more natural and after we add like a bunch of those uh, we add a hue saturation to bring everything to the same color as the original photo after that we have um, uh, a bunch of uh, green um, plants so basically you can add more of those and make it more realistic but we just uh, put a few and it's up to you you can add and then a hue saturation to make it fit better so that's um, for that and next is a bunch of clouds just to um, have this um, uh, cliff feel next we have a layer of uh, color light layer to make all the colors uh, work nice we have a sunset image and that's on uh, hard light and on opacity and low opacity and uh, this gives the all image the same tone so we have uh, exactly the same image uh, we put 29 opacity this is the image and uh, it's a hard light and 29 and uh, we have the same one just opposite vertical and mirror and on the top side we put um, a, a mask uh, you can see the mask here it just uh, to have also this uh, effect on also on the on the water and also on the sky so this brings the picture together and then we have some adjustment layers uh, screen and uh, basically what we do is we take uh, the f we merge all the layers and then we uh, blur blur them all together and put a filter blur a, a Gaussian blur and put it on screen and put it on uh, low opacity like not and same with uh, then we duplicate that layer and we put it on overlay and that brings some blacks back to uh, the image and then uh, a little bit of vignette so that's about it thank you for watching